Number five, the position of an object moving along an x-axis is given by x equal to 3t minus 4t squared plus t to the third, where x is in meter and t in seconds. Find the position of the object at the following values of t, letter a one second, letter b two seconds, letter c three seconds, and letter d four seconds. Letter E, what is the object's displacement between t equals to 0 and t equals to 4 seconds? Letter F, what is its average velocity for the time interval with the, from t equals to 2 seconds to t equals to 4 seconds? Letter G, graph the, uh, x versus t for 0 uh, less than t, which is less than 4 seconds, and indicate how the answer for letter F can be found from the graph. Okay, so this is our function for the position 3t minus 4t squared plus t to the third. So for letter A, we have to find the position when t is equal to 1 second, so x of 1. So the only thing that we have to do is to replace t by 1. So 3 times 1 minus 4 times 1 squared plus 1 to the third, this is equal to 3 minus 4 plus 1, this is equal to 0. Okay, so the answer of letter A is 0, 0 meters, you don't need to add M over here to indicate that it's meters, but if you want to be perfectly clear, you could. Letter B, we have to find the position when the clock shows us 2 seconds, so we just have to replace T by 2, so 3 times 2 minus 4 times 2 squared plus 2 to the third, and this is equal to 6 minus 16 plus 8, right? And this gives us, let's see, minus 2 meters. So now you have to add M to indicate that it's in meters. For letter A, you have the option to not add the indication that is meters the unit but in this case you have you don't have that option so letter c we have to find x of 3 so just replace t by 3 minus 4 times 3 squared plus 3 to the third and this gives us 0 meters as well letter d 4 seconds x of 4 is equal to 3 times 4 minus 4 times 4 squared plus 4 to the third and this gives us 12 meters okay so those are the answers for letter a to d letter e what is the object's displacement between t equals to 0 and t equals to 4 seconds so the displacement here delta x is equal to x of 4 the final position minus the initial position which is x of 0 we haven't calculated x of 0 so we have to do it now so x of 0 is equal to 3 times 0 minus 4 times 0 squared plus 0 to the third and this is equal to 0 as well so delta x is equal to x of 4 which is 12 minus x of 0 which is 0 and this gives us 12 meters. So that's the answer of letter E. Letter F. What is the average velocity for the time interval t equals to 2 to t equals to 4 seconds? So the average velocity is equal to delta x over delta t and in this case delta x is equal to x of 4 minus x of because we want the average average uh, velocity between t equals to 4 and t equals to, to 2 and we have to divide it by 4 minus 2 so this gives us 12 minus minus 2 over 4 minus 2 and this is equal to 14 over 2 and this is, this is equal to 7 meters per second so that's the answer of letter F for letter G, we have to graph x versus t and indicate how uh, indicate 
how the answer for letter F can be found on the graph. Okay, so I'm going just to paste the graph over here because it's a 30 degree equation. It's not easy to draw it without a computer. So this is the graph over here. One thing that you could do if you cannot use a computer, you just guess a few values over here for that you are you already have it. So for example, let's see what happens when I try to draw it from scratch. So this is t in seconds. This is x in meters, and you have a few points over here. You have when it's one second, when it's two seconds, when it's three seconds, when and then when it, it's four seconds. So you know that when t is equal to zero, the position is zero as well. So you know this point over here. So let me change the color to orange, so it's easier to see. You know that when the time is equal to one, it's zero meter as well. And when t is equal to two, this is minus two. Let's say this is minus two. So this is our third point over here. And you know that when t is equal to 3, it's 0 again. And then with 4, it is 12 over here. right? So those are the five points that you have. So you have to link them in some way. So this point over here in the middle, you don't know between zero and one. So it could be something like this or something like this. So you could just guess that t is equal to 0 0.5 and see where it fits. And then you would find that it goes like this. This point from three to four, we know that it is increasing for sure. So we need to go back to minus two over here so no this is wrong sorry we you would find that it's upwards and then you just continue going here and then you can continue the movement and it would be something like this so you just have to guess this value over here so you you could find if it is this way or this way anyway that's how you could draw the graph you if you could not could not use a computer so if you want to find the answer for letter F, all you have to do is to take this delta T over here and this delta X over here and just do the average velocity is equal to delta X over delta T. And that's pretty much it. Just take this from the graph. So this is the what we, we are doing. We are finding the slope of the curve. That's what we are doing when we do this calculation over here.